open two roots of a quadratic equation. Two roots of a quadratic equation. <coughs> and we're going to say those two roots are P and Q. So these will be filled in with numbers on our example. For now, we're just going to say it's going to be P and Q. Because they're both roots, roots are the same thing. The equation is of the form x minus p times x minus q equals zero. So x minus p times x minus q. Notice this is a p up here. What's in front of the p when I put it in here? And notice it's x minus whatever that number is. So if that number is negative, it's going to become x minus a negative, which will be plus. Okay. What do we call the two parts that when you multiply them together, they, you get an answer? What are the two parts of the multiplication problem? Yep. The, the question is more complicated than the answer. I'll tell you that much. What are the two part? What are the two different parts? What are the parts of a multiplication problem? Like ten is a product of two and five. What do we call two and five? The relationship to ten. Factors. Okay. Remember, multiplication is made up of factors. So these two right here, am I multiplying them together? Yes. And it shows, we're not actually going to do it right now, but it shows multiplication, but these are the factors. Okay. So these are the factors of the quadratic. This is an important part throughout the rest of your algebra career. Okay, whether that's just stopping at college algebra and getting that done, or going on to other classes. Those are the factors. So it's important to note that the factors use the numbers that are opposite of the roots. Roots, zeros, x-intercepts, solutions. We're going to use the numbers that are opposite. There we go. Opposite of the roots. So we're going to look on page 242. We're going to go through some of the examples. Look at number one. <coughs> Okay, so here's the first set of questions. Write a quadratic equation in standard form with the given roots. So for number one, the roots are negative 8 and 5. So where does this cross the x-intercept? x-axis. Negative 8 and positive 5. Negative 8 and positive. You said negative 5. Okay, so these are our roots. Our x-intercepts are solutions. So if this is, if negative 8 is one of the given roots, notice it has to be of the form x minus p. So when we have number 1 and our roots are going to be negative 8 and 5, that means our equation is going to be x minus a negative 8 times x minus 5 equals 0. 
So they give us negative 8 and 5. Notice we're going to use this formula up here, x minus p, x minus q. The 8 is like the p, the 5 is like the q. So do you see where these numbers came, came from? Everyone okay with that? What can I do right here? X minus a negative 8. I want to rewrite that as x plus 8. So we need to write it in standard form. Standard form is when it's all multiplied out. Okay, so now we're going to review multiplying two binomials. And this is the FOIL process, if you remember that, which is a basically a double distribution. <coughs> it's a double distribution. So it's a double, you have two parentheses, you have two things in the first parentheses. So you have to take the x times the x minus 5, and you have to take the 8 times x minus 5. That's going to equal 0. Equal 0 is just because they said it has to be an equation. They want an equation. So you have to have an equal sign to have for it to be an equation. Let's double distribu distribution, ring a bell still. So what's x? What's x times x right here? X squared. X times negative five. Someone else. Five x. Someone else. Eight times x. Six. Someone else. Eight times negative five. Negative four. So you get x squared minus five x plus eight x. Minus 40 equals 0. And what can we combine here? Remember, this is the reverse of the MA system. It's not factoring yet. We will review factoring. That's your equation. That's what you're going for on these questions. <coughs> okay, what if your roots are 7 and negative 1? Do several different examples of these. So plug them into your parentheses. So you need to use the two roots. So the parentheses always start out as x minus. If you minus a negative, it's going to switch to a plus. You're going to use that on the second on the one here. <laughs> equal zero. You do need that equal zero.
Africa. Are you okay? What? You okay? Okay, next one. You have roots of five and zero. <laughs> and we'll do some with fractions. Show you how to cheat the system. You can kind of cheat the system too if you recognize it. College professor said zero is not a number. He made sure we do that. Zero is a number. Zero is zero. Uh, what if they just give you this? Uh, the root is uh, what number? Three. 